Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team. And today I'm excited to share with you a project that I've been working on. I have been playing with the idea of making a card box for a couple of weeks. And it has been really fun. I've created this one. I always need a place to hold my cards and I decided I needed a new one. So I came up with this idea. So it has a little clasp here that you can open. And on the inside, I have different dividers and they all have different occasions on them. And then you can just file your cards right inside and have a place for your cards. I wanted to show you how to put this box together, how to make it from start to finish so you can create one too. So let's get started. You are going to need for this project one piece of designer series paper backing. So this is just the back sheet of one of our packages of designer series paper. If you don't have designer series paper from Stampin' Up, any harder card board backing of a paper pack will work. Just something that's gonna strengthen the sides of our box, okay? So this is a 12 by 12 sheet. You're also going to need a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Another piece of cardstock, this one is cut to 10 by seven and a half. So just an inch off either side. And then you're going to need some designer series paper or pattern paper. So I have two pieces of 12 inch by five inch designer series paper of the same pattern. So these are going to be what are the sides of our box are made of. So you want the same pattern for those. And then we have our box top. This is the top of the box is a piece of designer series paper and this is six and seven eighths by four and three eighths. And then you'll also need pieces for the sides of your box if you choose to put them on. The long piece for the front is six and three quarters by one and an eighth. And then the two sides are four and a quarter by one and an eighth. And I'll show you as we go where all of these are going to go on your box. Okay, we're going to start by scoring our papers. So we're going to start with our cardstock. So you're going to grab your Stampin' Trimmer and we're going to use our scoring blade. Our piece of cardstock that's eight and a half by 11, we're going to score two inches in from every side. So we stick that in and score at two inches, turn, score, turn, score, and turn, and score. So two inches on each side, okay? On our smaller piece of cardstock that is cut to seven and a half by 10 inch piece of cardstock, we're going to sc score this one at one and seven sixteenths. I know that sounds like a silly number, but if you do one and a half, it will be just too small to be on the top of your box. So if you do one and seven sixteenths, it will fit over the top of your box and be a perfect lid size. So. We're going to score that right at this line, right before the one and a half. That's one and seven sixteenths. And score each of the sides, just like we did on the base piece. And then we're going to score these two pieces, the exact same. We're going to score at a half inch. Oop, don't push too hard. And at five. 
and the same thing on both sides, on both pieces. Half inch and five. And this designer series paper is from the Hues of Happiness designer series paper pack. And it's in the Hues of Happiness suite in the annual catalog. Super cute paper. Okay, so now that our scoring's all done, we're going to start to put our box together. So our biggest piece, the eight and a half by 11 full piece that we scored at two inches from each side, we're going to use our paper snips and we're just going to cut in from each, just those two score lines on each of these sides. So the short sides cut in. Okay, and then we're going to fold. This is going to be the bottom or the base of our box. We're gonna use tear and tape. I like tear and tape for projects like this. It holds, holds things really well and tight. And we're gonna put a piece here and here on each of our edges. Just like that, okay? And then you just peel that back and adhere it together. Okay, just like that. So this is your base, okay? Next, we're going to build up the sides of our box. So I'm just going to fold along my score lines here. And I like to hide both of these smaller pieces. So I put those on first. I'm going to put one piece of tear and tape right on this edge of the box. And then take my designer series paper and just adhere that right like that. And then I'm going to leave this flap open and I'm going to do the same thing right here on this edge. And adhere this other piece down. And then those two pieces are just going to wrap around the box and they'll cover each of those smaller pieces. So for that, I put the long piece of tear and tape here. And just wrap it around. Tear that down and then do your other side. And just wrap it around your box. Just like that. Okay. So next we're going to add our top piece. We're going to fold all our sides. And then just like on our, our base piece, we're going to cut in on each of them. But we are going to do something a little bit differently. 
so that we can make this open like a top flap of our box, okay? So we're gonna say this is the back of our box or this, this part right here, which we adhere down to the back. The rest of it opens just like this, okay? So we're going to completely take off these two square pieces on the back of our box. We don't need those two pieces. But on the front of our box, we're still going to adhere here and here. So I'm gonna use tear and tape again. Okay. Okay, and then we're just going to fold those up, just like on our base, and adhere that, okay? So that makes the top of our box. So if I bring back in our box, this we're just going to adhere right to the back, just like that, and then it'll fold right over the top and make our box top. So I'm again just going to use tear and tape. Like I said, I really like tear and tape for these 3D kind of projects. It holds really well. Okay, and just adhere that right on the back of our box. Okay, there, you have your box. Now, because designer series paper is meant to be a little bit thinner than cardstock, these sides are just a little bit too flimsy for me. So I like to strengthen them. That's why I have this extra back piece of my designer series paper. If you don't feel like you need to do that, you can skip this step. But I wanted to give you the measurements for this piece. So if you cut this a certain way, you can get all of the pieces to strengthen your box out of one piece of 12 by 12 backing or a, a heavier cardstock. So we're going to first start by cutting this in half at six inches. And then we're gonna take one of the six inch pieces and we're going to cut two four and a half pieces. So two four and a half by six inch pieces. Okay. And then with our next piece, we're going to cut one four inch piece. So you'll have a six by four inch piece. And then we're going to cut down this side. We're going to cut this to four and a half. And then cut this to two four inch pieces. So these two pieces are four and a half here by four inches, okay, or this way. So those are the ones we need to strengthen our box. And I'll show you how I put those in. I'm just going to use my Stampin' Sew Plus on this. And I'm just going to put these just right on the sides and the bottom of my box, just to give a little bit more integrity to those sides. Okay, this one is for the bottom. And then the other two sides. Now you could also use another piece 
of cardstock to do this if you don't have um, this backing. I just like this because it's another way to reuse that and I always end up having them. So then we're going to decorate the top of our box. Now you can see I added a lot of embellishment up here. These these flowers cut out of this paper so beautifully. It's so much fun. So if you get this Hues of Happiness paper, you'll definitely want to get the die cuts that coordinate with it. They're super cute. But you'll also want to put some designer series paper on the top and on the sides. So let me just show you. These were the other pieces that we cut to decorate our box. So this is the top piece. We're just going to adhere that down. on the top and then we have our front flap piece and our two side pieces like that. You have a fun box that you can put all of your cards in that you make to give all of your people. So cute. So fun. I have loved playing with this Hues of Happiness bundle and making up some fun cards to give all the people. So on the dividers for these, I just used regular cardstock. I cut them to six and seven eighths by four and three quarters. And then I added a little tab up here. You could use a punch to do that. I just used another little piece of cardstock and folded it over and just adhered it. I just stamped from the Happiness of Bounds stamp set that goes um, coordinates with this suite. I just stamped all the different sayings here because I really loved the ones that were in this set. Many thanks, congratulations, happy birthday, best wishes, friend, happiness. I thought those were great um, sections to make for my dividers. And then I just cut them out and put them right on the tops up there. So you can do that with this set or you can choose a different set that you love um, to do that with. I also have made a few other boxes um, out of some of the different suites um, just to show different ideas. Not everybody loves flowery stuff. So here's one. I loved this, You're Stronger Than You Know. This is made from the He's the Man suite of products. You could give it to a man in your life, maybe that loves to stamp and do cards, or I think it's super cute for a girl too because all girls are stronger than they know. Super cute. You're stronger than you know. I like it. I also did a much more simpler idea here. This just says sending on the top, but I thought that was kind of cute. We're always sending cards. And this is just done with our black and white designer series paper. Very cute and simple, but I love that too. So if you have any questions about this, make sure to drop them in the comments below and we'd be happy to answer that. We also are going to do a blog post showing how to make this box. So if you need to go and check out those measurements and have a little bit more detail there, make sure to visit stampingjill.com. And if you don't, make sure to go and follow us on Instagram at stampingjill. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch a Weekly Wednesday.